I think there's something for all grades, you know, whether you're a beginning, you know, rhinoplasty surgeon, you're a beginner, where you're kind of moderate, you know, in the middle of your career, or where even as an expert, many of us have done rhinoplasty for a long time. When I listen to the lectures, I always learn something. So that's why it's very unique, the way the mixture is and where the original thinking behind this is. We have a fair amount of speakers, but mostly we deliver 15, 20 minutes lectures with long-term results and we give the chance to people to speak and interact with the faculty members, which is the best way to deliver knowledge. So you've got some people that are the world leaders here and you can sit and have a coffee with them, chat to them over lunch. It's a very relaxing, obviously the cadaver dissection is brilliant as well, to be able to get hands on and, and do cadaver dissections. And just the exquisiteness of being in Brussels and the food and the venue, it's wonderful, absolutely love it. There's no political game here. And the more I travel, the less I like the politics. And of course the program, the program is very up to date. The faculty is a very good one. There's adequate time. It's not five minutes to a, an infinite number of speakers. You have adequate time, you have time for questions. The program is well assorted and given to the right people. 30 years back, we thought we have to go to the United States. It changed totally. If they want to learn rhinoplasty, I think they have to come to Europe. And Brussels is a very good city for that, to learn that, because you have a great atmosphere a great host, everything is running smoothly and I'm sure all the attendants will benefit in this way or that way.